Well, hi again, everyone. This is Tim from Cleveland Baseball Fan 879, and this is game number 155 of the 2007 Cleveland Indians Stratomatic Mostly Advanced Replay. Uh, today, the Indians will be having their season, their series finale and season finale against, not season, regular season finale, season finale but season finale against the A's. Uh, the Indians come into the game with a 73-81 and record, tied with the Minnesota Twins, with the Detroit Tigers being a half game back at 73-82. and uh, Today's pitching matchup is for the Oakland A's, a guy that would later go on to pitch a perfect game on Mother's Day, Dallas Braden, and Jake Westbrook for the Indians. And Westbrook comes into the game with a... Eight wins, eight losses, 123 innings pitched, 57 earned runs allowed, 37 walks, and 76 strikeouts with a 4.17 ERA. All right, lineup for the visiting Oakland A's. Shannon Stewart leading off and playing left field. Derek Barton batting second and playing first base. Uh, Nick Swisher leading off, uh, batting third and playing center field. Jack Cust cleaning up and playing right field. Uh, Mike Piazza in his final season. Batting fifth in the designated hitter, uh, Mark Ellis batting sixth and playing second base, Jack Hanahan batting seventh and playing third base. Um, sorry if I don't. Uh, Rob Bowen batting eighth and catching, and Donnie Murphy batting ninth and playing shortstop. And for the Indians, uh, defensively from left to right, Jason Michaels in left, Grady Sizemore in center, and Franklin Gutierrez in right. In, on the infield from third to first, Casey Blake as Drupal Cabrera. I'm oh, sorry, Casey Blake, Johnny Peralta as Drupal Cabrera, and Ryan Garco with Victor Martinez behind the plate. All right, and here's the pitch to Shannon Stewart with the Oakland A's who just. Uh, let's spoil what happened. Just watch the previous game. You'll know what happened with the A's. And that's a base hit to center field. So not a good start if you're an Indians fan. And they will hold Stewart on, make him a 1-10 to 10 to try to steal. Brings up Derek Barton, who homered in this real game. In fact, this game was the game that the Indians clinched the Central Division. And the 5-7 against the lefty. Base hit the right field. Stewart being held on puts him at a 12. Gutierrez makes him 11. They'll hold him right there. So first two are on for Nick Swisher. A 6 5 full switch hitter betting. Oh, from the left hand side. Ground ball to second. Cabrera to Peralta to Garco. Double play. Going to third is Stewart, but there are two outs. For Jack Cust. Five, six against a lefty. Swing and a miss. Strike three, and Westbrook works out of a jam. And we go to the bottom half of the first. The A's nothing, and the Indians coming to bat. And the Indians line up Sizemore, Cabrera, and the designated hitter, Travis Hafner, Martinez, Garco, and Peralta, Michaels, Gutierrez, and Blake. And the Indians will be looking to get uh, base runners on, thankfully not having to deal with the hold of Braden, which is actually very good. Uh, Bowen is a Plus two arm, so that would help with the Indians' running game. Leading off and playing center field, Grady Sizemore, 270 average, 16 homers, 61 RBIs. One seven against the lefty, fly ball to center. One away. And here's as Drupal Cabrera. 235 average, four, three homers, seven RBIs. And a 2-5, and that's ripped into the gap. 
And going all the way to the wall and into second with a one-out double is as Dribble Cabrera. Actually, yeah, left-handed pitcher. Yep. And here's Travis Hafner. 235 average, 30 homers, 89 RBIs. Two eleven and Braden plunks them. So first and second with one out for Victor Martinez. 306 average, 33 homers, 109 RBIs. Two two popped it up into foul territory. And the third baseman, Hanahan, makes the catch two down for Ryan Garko. 272 average, 20 homers, 60 RBIs. The runners on first and second. They'd love to get a run in. Scoreless game here in the bottom of the first. And, well, we'll see. The single to center. Uh, Cabrera not being held on makes him 14. Two outs makes him a 16. Swisher not helping matter as much. Uh, that puts him at a 1 to 18. So, yes, they will send him. And here's the throw. And there's a 17, 13, 14, 16, 18. And by the luck of faith, that that is safe at the plate. And the Indians take a one to nothing lead. One to 18 because of not holding them on and plus two for two outs and plus two for Swisher arm. So Garko with an RBI, number 61, and it brings up Johnny Peralta. 243 average, 22 homers, 71 RBIs. Swing and a miss, strike three. So the Indians get on the board and lead one to nothing after one. Piazza, Ellison, Hanahan do up for the A's here in the second. Oops. Not quite. That's not the team I want up. This is the team I want up. Here we go. Okay, Piazza, as you can tell, was only a DH that sees in his final season. Uh, third base X for Blake that will retire Piazza one away. And here's Mark Ellis. To 11, that will not retire Mark Ellis. That's base hit in the right field. And they will hold on Ellis as a C stealer. Here's Jack Hanahan. Six twelve. First base X. 17 for Garko will at least be a chance for him to turn a double play. No. In fact, he won't turn one ever, just he's happy to get an out. So he throws to Westbrook covering. Moving to second is Ellis, but there are two away. For the catcher, Rob Bowen. Five, eight. Either side, swing, and a miss, strike three. Second strikeout for Westbrook, and that will retire the side. The A strand one on a hit, and we go to the bottom of the second 
Indians one, and the A's nothing. <laughs> and Michaels, Gutierrez, and Blake to up bottom third of the order. And Jason Michaels on the season. 234 average, 7 homers, 33 RBIs. Mainly a he mainly plays against left-handed pitching. 3-2, that's a base hit to right field. So Michaels gets on with the leadoff single. Okay, and they will not hold on Michaels. Here's Franklin Gutierrez. Gutierrez on the season, 268 average, 20 homers, 50 RBIs. For 11, first base X chance, that is Barton. A 4 and a 14 will not be in range. He has an E25, which means he will make an error no matter what. It's just what type of error. And you don't need the, the blue die as a decider. It's just straight up the two dice. And a 10 means that will be a one base error. So he bobbles it and can't recover. And the Indians have runners on first and second. That was a 14, by the way, for Barton's chance, which is out of range. Here's Casey Blake, number nine hitter, 257 average, 19 homers, 71 RBIs. And we're not going to bunt here. And swing and a miss, strike three. Second strikeout for Braden. Back to the top of the order, Grady Sizemore. And ground ball to first. And the only play is to first as Michaels and Gutierrez move up. So we'll call that... Uh, Barton to Braden covering. There are two outs, but two runners in scoring position for as Dribble Cabrera, who doubled his first time up. Six eleven. Pitcher X chance either side. Uh, that's not going to be in range for Braden. That's top three, bottom three for a pitcher X chance. And Braden is an E20. It's not terrible. 7, 8, 10, 11, or 12. And there's your 10, so good play by Braden. We'll retire uh, Cabrera, and that retires the side. The Indians strand two on a hit and an error. We go to the third inning. Top of... Indians won, A's and nothing. And Murphy, Stewart, and Barton do up for the A's. And here's the pitch to Murphy. Three nine, swing and a miss, strike three. Third strikeout for Westbrook. Here's Shannon Stewart. Single this first time up. Swing and a miss, strike three. So Westbrook has struck out the first two here in the top of the third. Here's Derek Barton. Four six against the lefty, draws a walk. So second walk today for Barton. And second walk for Westbrook. Right, here's Nick Swisher, ground into a double play his first time up. 
for 11 switch hitter betting left-handed ground ball to second and would have been another double play ball had there been less than two outs but with two outs Cabrera will just throw to first to retire Swisher and retire the side go to the bottom of the third Indians one A's nothing and we'll have Hafner Martinez and Garko do up Hafner walked his first time up. And here's the pitch to Hafner. 4-2 against the lefty. And that ball is driven deep to right field. Going back is the right fielder Cust. And that ball is out of here. So solo home run for Travis Hafner. Home run number 31, RBI number 90, 2 nothing Indians. That's a 1 to 14 home run chance, and there's, there's a 5, so that easily cleared the right field wall. Here's Victor Martinez. Uh, fouled out his first time up. 3 12, and line drive to the third baseman. We'll only take one out here. And here's Ryan Gurko, singled his first time up. Three, four. Ground ball back to the mound. And Braden will retire Garko, two down. And here's Johnny Peralta. Struck out his first time up. And fly ball and... Off the top of the wall. Into second with a double. Peralta thought he had one. And missed it by centimeters or inches. 1 to 10 is a home run. And there's an 11. So two out double for Johnny Peralta. Here's Jason Michael singled his first time up. 3-8 line drive right to the third baseman. Hanahan, that will retire the side. Uh, but the Indians get another run on the Hafner blast. And it is 2-0 Indians going to the top of the fourth. Cust, Piazza, and Ellis do up. Here's Cust, struck out his first time up. 2-9, draws a walk. Third walk for Westbrook. And here's Mike Piazza, not holding Cust on. Three ten, and that's a 2 and Piazza strikes that one. It goes into the gap. And second and third. And the Indians will play the infield. Oh, boy. I think we'll play the infield back. Here's the pitch to Mark Ellis. Two, three, swing and a miss. Strike three. Big strikeout for Westbrook. And here's Jack Hanahan. One down here in the top of the fourth. Four, seven. 1 to 10 single chance. That won't pass, but the ground ball B may get the runner in from third. Second and third. No! Has to be hit to the second base or shortstop, so let's hit right to the first baseman. He looks the the third and keeps cussed there. And 
Uh, Garko takes it to the bag himself. Two down for Rob Bowen. And here's the pitch to Bowen. Five, five. And against a lefty fly ball, left field. Michaels camps under it, and that retires the side. Big ovation from the Jacobsville crowd as Westbrook gets out of a second and third, nobody out uh, pickle. And we go to the bottom of the fourth. The Indians lead 2 nothing, And that hopefully is the boost that the Indians might need. As, we, as Gutierrez, Blake, and Sizemore are due up here in the bottom of the fourth. Two, eight. And that's over the head of the center fielder, Swisher. And into second with a lead, leadoff double is Franklin Gutierrez. Second time he's reached base. He reached on an error his last time up. And here's Casey Blake. Blake struck out his first time up. Five, nine. And that ball is driven deep to left center field. Going back is Stewart. And that ball is gone. One to 12 home run chance. And that's a nine. So a two run blast from Casey Blake puts the Indians up four to nothing. And for Casey, that is home run number 20, RBI number 73, 72 and 73. And the A's are going to look for get bullpen action. Uh, Lenny DiNardo and Roddy Lugo are loosening in the pen. Here's Grady Sizemore, 0 for 2, ground out and a fly out. Three, six, and that's a uh, one to 20 single. So, and it looks like Braden might be on life support here. Um, we'll see if he gives up another hit or two, then he'll be done. Uh, Cabrera is one for two with a double. Four, four, switch hitter batting right-handed center field chance for Swisher. Uh, will not make the the range play on that, but has a solid in the air. E3 on a center fielder. Five to 11, he'll make the play. And there's an eight, so he will make the catch to retire Cabrera. And that is one away. Here's Travis Hafner. Uh, homered his last time up. Swing and a miss. Strike three. So Two down. Here's Victor Martinez. And Sizemore... It's going to get a lead, and they're holding him on, and they will send him. Uh, half, he starts at a, seven, a 15, goes down to a 13 for being held on, but Bowen, uh, plus two, puts him right back up to 15. So one to 15, Sizemore will get into scoring position, and he is thrown out. So... I'm not taking the bat out of Martinez's hands, but he's 0 for 2 today and wanted to get him in the scoring position. But eh, that ends the bottom of the fourth. The Indians add to their lead and lead 4 0 after four. And Westbrook will face Murphy, Stewart, and Barton here in the top of the fifth.
And here's the pitch to Murphy. 6-3 to the left fielder. That's not in range for Michaels. Nope, 12 is not in range. Michaels is in E2. So 4 to 10 or a 12. There's your 7. So that's in. Michaels will make the play for Tyler Murphy, one down. I'll make the catch, I should say. Here's Shannon Stewart. Uh, one for two with a single and a strikeout. And that's ripped into center field, and Stewart is now two for three. They will hold him on. Here's Derek Barton. Barton has walked twice. Two ten. And that ball is in the right field over the, the first baseman down the right field line. Uh, Stewart being held on makes him a 12. Gutierrez puts him at, uh, reduces that by one more. 1 to 11, down four runs. They won't take a chance. But Barton is doubled, putting runners on second and third with one down. Of course, the Indians will play back. And here's Nick Swisher. Two seven walked them. There's Jack Cuss, the guy who can tie the game with one swing of the bat. And three five, that's a two. Almost did, but three six would have done it. But three five with a two. And train moves up 90 feet. So scoring from third is Stewart. Score, or moving to third is Barton. Moving to second is Swisher. Four to one ball game. And the Indians will get bullpen action. Might get bullpen action themselves. Um, uh, Jensen Lewis. And Rafael Perez are loosening in the pen. There's Mike Piazza. Uh, infield. Stay back. And that's a foul ball. And we'll do it again. Five, seven. There's a base hit to center field. Scoring from third is Barton. Uh, Swisher not being held on. Uh, makes him a 14 with uh, Sizemore not reducing that any. 70% uh, chance they'll take it. 1 to 14. And he is safe, so. He's to put up a three spot here in the fifth inning. And now only trail 4 to 3. And here's Mark Ellis. And they will not hold either runner on. Custer Piazza. And whew, that ball is hit into the gap, cutting it off before it gets away from Sizemore. And scoring from second is... Cust going to third is Piazza, and that'll be it for Jake Westbrook. Can't get it out of his way in the fifth inning. So Jensen Lewis will come in. Ah, 
Jensen Lewis on the season. Two wins, no losses, 27 innings pitched, 10 earned runs allowed, 6 walks, 21 strikeouts, and a 3.33 ERA. He's going to try to stop the bleeding as runners are on the corners with one out. And they will bring the infield in with a tie game. For six, fly ball to right. And that's deep enough to score. Piazza from third. And the A's have taken a five to four lead. And here's Rob Bowen. Ninth man to bat in the inning. And that's a second base X chance. Uh, Cabrera, a two, will retire Bowen. But not until the A's take the lead with a five spot here in the fifth. And lead five to four. And that kind of season. All right, Brayden will stay out now for, although this will be, he'll be on a very short leash, I believe. Martinez, Garco, and Peralta. Martinez was at the plate when, whoops. Martinez was at the plate when Lofton was caught stealing. So... Here's the pitch to Martinez. And against a righty, fly ball to right. And Martinez is 0 for 3, 1 away. There's Ryan Garko, 1 for 2 with a single. And we'll say that's a 1 7, and he hit him. And here's Johnny Peralta. Donardo is ready when needed. Swing and a miss, straight three. So two down for Peralta. Here's Jason Michaels. Five, eleven. And against the righty, flies out the left. And that will retire the side. And that will most likely do it for Braden. Pitching to 25 batters through. Not many innings. All right, Jensen Lewis will come out for the sixth. We'll face Murphy. Uh, Stewart and Barton uh, for the A's. They will. Let's see. We're gonna have them sit. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. They'll have. Yeah, they'll they'll, they'll bring in uh, Lenny Donardo to try to bridge the gap to the. Eighth inning, possibly. All right, Jensen Lewis facing Johnny Murphy. And that just gets over the outstretched arms of Casey Blake. One out, or leadoff single for Murphy. And they will not hold him on. Here's Shannon Stewart. First base X chance. Uh, that's out of range for Garko. E11, 7 to 11 to turn two. And Garko bobbles it and gets nobody out. There's Derek Barton, Rafael Perez loosening in the pen. First and second, nobody out. First error for the 
Indians today. Barton, one for one officially, double and two walks. And that's a fly ball to right. And since it's a question mark, he cannot go to third, uh, attempt to go to third. So that's one away. It's Nick Swisher, uh, two ground outs and a walk. Uh, holding on all runners. 6-3. Either side, swing and a miss, strike three. So two down. And here's Jack Cust. Five four. Oh, and against the lefty, that's a fly ball to right. And Lewis gets out of it. And that retires the side. Well, Lenny Donardo will come in and take over for Dallas Braden with the A's having a 5-4 to four lead. And the Indians will get Rafael Perez loosening in the pen. Here's Lenny DiNardo, semi-long man. Probably trying to just bridge the gap to get to the ninth. All right, here's Franklin Gutierrez against Lenny DiNardo. Here's the pitch to Gutierrez. And shortstop X, that will be handled by the shortstop Murphy. One away. Here's Casey Blake. Blake is one for two with a homer. Three, seven. Oh, only a one to five single chance. So that's a line drive caught by the second baseman. Ellis, two down. And Grady Sizemore, one for three with a single, was caught stealing, which may look big now. And three, four, swing and a miss, strike three. Won't need the D20 on that one. So Donardo sets down the Indians, one, two, three, here in the bottom of the sixth. We go to the seventh. Here comes Rafael Perez. He may pitch two innings himself. He may pitch an inning and we'll get uh, Betancourt to pitch the eighth and maybe Borowski to pitch the ninth. Perez on the season. No wins, one loss, 57 innings pitched, 22 earned runs, 11 walks, 61 strikeouts, and a 3.47 ERA. Five, seven, and nice running catch by Grady Sizemore. One to three triple chance, that's a five. Here's Mark Ellis. Five, six, swing and a miss, strike three. Here's Jack Hanahan. Three, four against the lefty ground ball to short and a one, two, three inning for Perez and the Indians, stretch time here at Jacobs Field. Indians trail five to four. And here's Donardo. 
He'll face Hafner, Martina, or Cabrera, Hafner, and Martinez. Part of the order. And Santiago Casilla and R Ruddy Lugo are loosening in the pen. And probably not mess around with a lead. Here's Cabrera. Four, six, spanning righty. Walked him. And here's Travis Hafner. And mm, looks like they'll stick with uh, Donardo here. Lefty lefty matchup. Three eight draws a walk. So first and second, and that will be all for. Donardo, they're going to bring in Ruddy Lugo to face Victor Martinez. So first and second, they will not hold on either runner. Here's Victor Martinez. Three nine swing and a miss, strike three. And that brings up Ryan Garco. Garco singled and hit by a pitch in three plate appearances. And that's a ground ball to second. They'll get Hafner at second. The return throw is an ending ending double play. So Lugo does his job. We go to the eighth. Here comes Rafael Betancourt. He will face Bowen, Murphy, and Stewart. Perez will sit down here. And Benton Court on the season. 77 and a third innings pitch, three wins, six losses, 18 earned runs allowed, six walks, 68 strikeouts, three saves, and a 2.09 ERA. And he'll face the switch hitter, Bowen. And 1-8 against the righty, swing and a miss, strike three. And here's Donnie Murphy. Murphy reached us on a single last time up. And a 1-9, swing and a miss, strike three. And here's Shannon Stewart. Uh, Santiago Casilla loosening in the pen. And here will come on the eighth inning. 2-7, ground ball to short. And Peralta will retire Shannon Stewart. To retire the side here in the eighth. We go to the bottom of the eighth. In comes Santiago Casilla and a scoreless eighth inning for Betancourt. Uh, Joe Borowski loosening in the pen. He has not worked in a few days, so they will get him some work to try to keep this either a game or close it out. So, three. Santiago Casilla. He'll face Peralta. And we'll get a 
pinch hitter Kenny Lofton. Does arm does not help out any, but he will be pinch hitting. And then Franklin Gutierrez. And here's Johnny. Double in three attempts. He struck out the other two attempts. And that's a foul ball. And we'll do it again. And there's a fly ball to left. One down. And now batting for Michaels is Kenny Lofton. Kenny's stats with the Indians. 313 average, two homers, 19 RBIs. Looking to get started here. One down here in the bottom of the eighth. Six, eight, swing and a miss, strike three. So Lofton will stay on and play left field. All right, here's Franklin Gutierrez. Franklin double reached on an air and grounded out. Four nine swing and a miss strike three. So one two three inning for the Indians here in the eighth. In comes Joe Borowski. Houston Street is loosening in the pen to try to if it's a safe situation. <sighs> and Browski on the season, which is stats. Six wins, three losses, 48 innings pitched, 36 earned runs allowed, five walks, 38 strikeouts, 22 saves, and 34 opportunities in a 6.75 ERA. And he will face Derek Barton, who is uh, one for two, a double, two walks, and a flyout. 3-7, and find the hole in the three column, ground ball to first. And Garko will step on the bag himself. One away. Here's Nick Swisher. Uh, walk, struck out, and two ground outs. And switch hitter betting left-handed. That's a base hit the right field. And Swisher will not be held on. Here's Jack Cust. Cust a single walk in four attempts. 6-7, uh, fly ball to center against the left-hander. Sizemore will retire. Cuss, two away. Here's Mike Piazza. Single to double in four attempts. 4-9, four, swing and a miss, strike three. So Borowski allows a runner, but he does not score. And we go to the bottom of the ninth. Here comes Houston Street. Last chance for the Indians. Be Blake, Sizemore, and Cabrera. Hmm. Now here's Casey Blake. Four, five, oh, had a one to three double chance, but the nine, and tracking that down was the left fielder, Stewart, and one away. Here's Grady Sizemore. Oh, 
and that ball is driven deep to right center field. Going back is Cust, and it's out of here. 4-3 uh, and 4-5 are end home run chances against lefties. And the Indians have tied the game. Which means they will have to get a new pitcher loosening up. Uh, Aaron Fultz will be loosening in the pen. And here's as Drupal Cabrera. Can he back to back and make it a walk off? 5-5 five to five here in the bottom of the ninth. For 11, base hit the left field. And I'm using the four, not the one in parentheses, for closing. So, and Cabrera runs at a 13. Don't really have any. Uh, yeah, for an extra point of speed, no, we won't. Pinch run for Cabrera. Here's Travis Hafner. Homered already in this game. But he's not going to hold on Cabrera. Here's the pitch to Hafner. 6-6 six, six, swing and a miss. Strike three. So two down. And here's Victor Martinez. 0 for 4. I'd like to get in the hit column here. Four, five, and that ball is hit deep to right field. Back to the warning track to the wall is cussed, and it's a walk-off winner for the Indians. And there is much joy here at Jacobs Field as the Indians put up a three spot here in the bottom of the ninth. The home run for Sizemore will give you that stat. His 17th homer and 62nd RBI for Victor Martinez. And I, if you wouldn't walk him without first base open. Martinez, home run number 34 and RBI number 111. And the Indians potentially save their season here. And win this one by a final score of seven to five. And we'll be right back with the line score right after this. All right, final line score seven runs, 11 hits, one error for the Indians. Five runs, 10 hits, one error for the uh, A's. The Indians hit four home runs on the day, they needed every single one of them. Uh, your winning pitcher is Joe Borowski. And your losing pitcher and getting a blown save is Houston Street. So the Indians improved to 74 and 81. The A's fall to 85 and 72, but they have already clinched a spot in the playoffs. And speaking of clinching spots, uh, the Los Angeles Dodgers have a magic number of one. The uh, Boston Red Sox have a magic number of four. And... So we will get to hyper-fast scoring here. In fact, we will have to play two days of hyper-fast scoring because there are games on Monday, and the Indians do not play on that Monday. They start a three-game or four-game set in Seattle where they are the home team for one of the games, and I think you'll enjoy that. So Indians get the walk-off win here, and we'll head right to Minnesota at the Metrodome. They're facing the... Uh, Chicago White Sox, the red, blue, and green in that order. They need a 6 4 3 or less to stay tied. 3 5, three, one, five. they will stay tied with the Indians at 74 and 81. The Detroit Tigers, who are a half game back, Four, four, six or less, and they will stay a half game back. Oops. 
four or, th or three, four, three. So that will take care of that. So the Tigers, tw Twins, and Indians all win. And we will move to the National League West. Dodgers, magic number of one. They can clinch. They are on the road to Arizona. They need a one, two, two or higher. And a four, one, four. And your National League West Division champions are the Los Angeles Dodgers. Of course, yet another team that would, did not make the, the real 2007 playoffs, but that's why we roll the dice. All right. And we'll now go to the, let's go to the American League East. We'll see in the American League. The New York Yankees are facing the, this is up for Sunday, September 23rd. We're still in the first day of hyper fast scoring. Uh, the Yankees and the Blue Jays, The Yankees have a three-game lead on the uh, Blue Jays. They can pretty much put a nail, they can pretty much seal their fate as the wild card, pretty much, against if they win this game. Four, six, three or less for the Yankees. And one, six, one. That will do it. And the Boston Red Sox are facing the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. Uh, Boston needs a 6-1-6 or higher to reduce that magic number down to 3. 5-3-4, they will not do it. So the Red Sox, or the Yankees gain a game on the Red Sox. They were... Four and a half, now three and a half up. Okay. And your wild card standings in the National League are as follows. The Braves and the Rockies are tied at 81 and 74. The uh, Reds are at 80 and 75, one game back. So we'll start with the Braves. Need a 6 2 2 or less in order to stay, at least keep the tie for the lead. Four, four triple fours, and that will give the Braves the win. Colorado is facing San Diego. At San Diego, they need a 2-1-5 or higher to stay tied with Atlanta. 2-2-5, two, two, that will do it, just barely, but it's still a win. And Cincinnati needs a 5-2-3 or higher to stay within a game of the Braves. 5-5-2. Five, five, that, that will do it. So the Reds stay within a game of the Braves and Rockies. As we now head into Monday's games. And a big series. The Twins and Tigers uh, face each other. If the Tigers win, we will have... Uh, the Indians will be in... They'll be tied with the they can be tied with the Indians for first place. Or and we'll see how that works. Hold on. But a five, five, six. Minnesota will get the win. And they will be a half game up on the Indians. Uh going into Tuesday's games. The Tigers will be a game back of the Twins, I believe, and the Indians will still be in second place. All right, Toronto and the Yankees. The Yankees are four up in the wild card. Uh, this won't seal it, but it could pretty much uh, make the Blue Jays have to call their girlfriends Hilda Klein. 
All right, here is the pitch. Here's the, the roll. 4-3, one or less for the Yankees. New no. 6 four, 4 So Blue Jays are still within striking distance, but it's getting late or late quickly here. All right, and I will roll the other games offline because they do not have anything to do with the pennant race. And so the next game for the Indians will be on the road. This would have been the first game after they clinched the division. Their game in Seattle is Aaron Laffey against King Felix Hernandez in Seattle. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And if you've not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon, you'll be notified of any new videos. And whatever games you are playing, please enjoy them to your fullest. Have a good night, everybody.